My name is Leela. I've been Gita teacher student since the year 2014. So it's been a long and amazing journey, undoubtedly. It became even more special um, ever since we faced the pandemic when we had uh, the transition into um, online learning. Um, well, initially it was, it was challenging, it was tough. Um, it was very overwhelming. I wasn't able to cope uh, with dance class because um, being a teacher I was handling um, online lessons and on the other hand I had dance class um, that has been conducted online and online lessons for me was just too much and I wasn't able to cope like I mentioned so I was in the verge of giving up but with the support and encouragement by uh, my fellow dance mates um, I called them my Saturday squad and of course uh, Gita teacher and not forgetting Uncle Cat. So here am I, still continuing my dance journey. So this year Navaratri, I will be presenting two items. The first one is Tilayambalam, and the second one is Katrini Levarum Gitam. Um, the first one, Tilayambalam, is a Shabdam, um, composed by Tanjavur Arna Chalam Pillai. Um, it is set to Raga, Raga Malika and uh, Talam Mishra Chapu. So the reason why I chose this um, item is because beginning of the year we had presentation uh, presentation I'm sorry so at that at that time I wasn't able to dance because um, I had just undergone um, surgery and I was in my recovering phase and I was told not to dance for two months and but what made me even what made it even more special is when teacher threw the challenge on me she told me why don't you go ahead with the presentation you don't need to dance but you know just sit and show your abhinaya so i did that and this time i'm fully recovered by god's blessings um, so i told teacher why not let me take this item again and i'm going to present it by dancing it so that's the reason why i chose the first one the second one which is kachini levarum gitam uh, by ms subulakshmi amma so the reason why I chose this is because um, there's a story behind this. Um, teacher, teacher threw us a challenge. She said, "Okay, this time you are going to come up with your own choreography," and um, and it, I was like, "Oh my God, choreography, own choreography!" And it's like, okay, it was a little. Uh, I was a little nervous, so I was thinking like, what song to choose? And I'm like, I was so confused. I'm like, oh my God, there are so many songs to choose, but I don't know which one to choose because. You know, I, I I wanted to make I wanted to do justice to the song. It, it, I didn't want to like just pick any uh, dance song. I didn't want to do like just pick any dance song and don't and not do justice to it. So I was like, okay, what song should I choose? And then um, I told this to my Veena teacher. She has to be mentioned in this. Uh, my Veena teacher, Srimadhi Usha Venkat Raman. So when I told her this, like. Um, she suggested like why don't you take uh, Kachri Nile Varum Geetam and I was like mm. and I, when I checked when I, I know it's an old song I know it is an old song but when I checked I was like okay it's a very old song because it was um, it was from the movie called Mira and it was released in the year 1945 so um, so when I watched uh, the video and I was like okay it's a very um, it's a very short uh, very short song and I was like thinking like Okay, it's going to be more on Abhinaya presentation. It's more on, it's more challenging. Um, sorry, it is more on Abhinaya presentation. I was like, okay, fine. Let let me do this. You know, at least it will be. I will challenge myself with uh, Abhinaya because that is something that I really want to work on because I am not that expressive when it, especially when it comes to dance. I'm not very expressive, and I told myself, okay, let me challenge myself with this song. So I told this to Gita teacher and she's like, why not? It would be great to have uh, MS Subulakshmi, uh, Subulakshmi Amma's composition in um, this year's Navratri. So that's the reason why I chose uh, both the items for this year Navratri. This year a little bit more special because it made me realize 
um, the strength in me that I've always doubted about. So gotta say that I'm actually very, very proud of myself because um, unlike previous years, uh, this year Navaratri, um, everything was handled um, individually. So right from um, preparing, um, you know, costumes and then um, ornaments, um, setting up the space and even recording, I had to do it all by myself. So um, like previous years, like we had our friends with us to help us to tie our sari, you know, check on our makeup, you know, wearing our ornaments, especially wearing, um, tying the belt. But this year, everything had to be done individually. So that's one, that's the reason why I said I'm actually very proud of myself. So yes, um, I would like to take this um, opportunity to say thank you to Geeta Tisha for giving me um, such a great um, opportunity to uh, present two items this year um, and solo performances. Thank you teacher and um, my fellow dance mates and Uncle Cat. Thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, Gita teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your constant support and encouragement and thank you for not giving up on me even when even when i was in a situation of giving up on myself you were always you all were always there to pick me up and say you know what you can do this come on and also not forgetting uh, my veena teacher who's also been a constant support for me she's always um, like she's always checked on me and so thank you thank you so much um, thank you so much and uh, yes so Please do um, enjoy the performances that uh, that is lined up for you all for this year's um, Navaratri. Please do shower your blessings upon all of us. Thank you so much. Hope you all enjoy the performances. And uh, may Goddess Durga shower abundance of blessings upon all of you all. Yeah. 